Well, good evening, everyone. It's Sunday, January 7th. So day seven of my video journal. You will notice that my light looks much better today. I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. And I'd like to give a shout out to Mark Bone, who's a producer and, and filmmaker who I've been watching his videos for a while now. And just in an offhand comment in one of his videos, he just turned the camera and showed that he was actually using his monitor as a soft light. And that never occurred to me to just put up a white page on a, on a big 32 inch monitor and just use that as a light. And this is the result. I think it looks amazing. There's a little bit of flickering in the background where it looks like it's off um, from the, I think it's 50 and 60 Hertz and some are US and some is UK or, or European, but the lights should all be fine. So I don't know if that's just something that I'm seeing right now that will resolve it. Sorry, I keep looking off because it's distracting a little bit. Um, I don't know if that's something that's going to resolve itself once I um, do the final edits on the videos and stuff. So we'll see if it's still there. I apologize. I'll work on trying to get rid of that next time, but I'm more excited by the fact that I seem to have really good light now and it's not too bright on the background which means that I can actually put some lights back there and have a little bit of separation between me and the background, which is what I wanted. The only problem with that is it means now I have to find something else to talk about. But never mind, that's okay. We will persevere, right? So that's one thing. So I'm totally, totally jazzed about that. The other thing is, what, did I, what have I done recently? Quiet day at home today. It's been very... It's been quite warm in the UK, but wet and raining almost every day. And today it got super, super cold and I just couldn't get motivated to do anything outside the house. So I've pretty much stayed around the house, but I did one thing that I've never done before, which is I made homemade butter. And I know that sounds like the most random thing in the world, but again, I'm doing this sort of crazy diet that I'm on and I can have butter, but I wanted to make my own because I think a lot of the foods that I would like to eat, the the main reason that you can't eat them is because of all the additives in them. Like mayonnaise, for example. You really shouldn't eat mayonnaise on this diet because it's got all these hydrogenated fats in it and all these oils and everything else. So if I make my own mayonnaise and I can use maybe beef fat or I can use something else in it and then the egg then I know it's got no preservatives. I know it's got nothing else in it except animal products and the right type of oil. Or if I do use some oil, I can use the best oil possible and I know there's nothing else in it. So I am going to work a little bit on trying to make more of this stuff myself. And I saw a video that talked about literally to make butter, all you have to do is take double cream and you put it in like a, a Cuisinart or a Magimix or whatever and turn it on. And it takes about pff, a minute or 90 seconds or, or maybe two minutes at the most. And it basically clumps all together and it's you're left with a bunch of buttermilk. You just pour the buttermilk out, put a little bit of water in to kind of clean the, um, to clean the butter off and to, to get the rest of the buttermilk sort of washed off of it. And a bit of salt in there as well, just for taste. And then turn it back on, run it, very shortly just for a couple of minutes or whatever and then basically you just continue to press it up against the side get the rest as much of the water out as you can get and then you just brick it up and I made a couple of uh, basically um, so uh, a one 600 gram uh, 600 mil pot of double cream that's pure double cream made 419 grams of butter when it was finished. So I put it into two bricks. So I have two, basically two 200 gram bricks of butter now that's homemade. So that's going to be great. I'm going to use it on my son's sandwiches tomorrow and see what he thinks. But, um, I had a little taste and it tastes amazing. So that was my one real accomplishment for the today, other than figuring out this monitor trick. So I still have my little ring light up there, which is assisting and I'm probably going to play around with all this stuff. But anyway, I'm, you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm quite jazzed that maybe I've cracked the lighting just enough to not have to worry about it. And I can focus on other things like trying to not say, um, and so as much anyway, 
that's all for today. We're going to keep it short and sweet. I hope everybody had a good relaxing weekend. We're on it next week. Like I said, I'm still planning on going to Cambridge, I think. So I'll probably be in Cambridge um, Tuesday night and then Wednesday, but back home Wednesday evening. So expect a podcast update from somewhere cozy in Cambridge Tuesday night if that meeting is still on. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.